The world population reached an unprecedented 8 billion. That's the highest number of people we've ever had on the planet. Citizen number 8 billion joined us roughly 12 years after citizen number 7 billion was born back in 2011. It took us all of human history up to the year 1805 to reach the first billion. From there, we took 120 years to reach the second billion, 35 years to get to the third billion, and since then, we've come to settle at this 12 to 13 year period for adding another billion to the planet's population. I think we can all agree that skyrocketing charge looks quite worrying. Concerns over the planet not being able to keep up with a growing population aren't new. Robert Malthus, an 18th century philosopher and economist, whose work centered around modeling population growth, suggested that food production wouldn't be able to keep up with this rising population, resulting in famine, disease, war, and overall doom and gloom. These theories came into the limelight a lot more after the 60s, with the planet's population taking off, increasing at its highest rate of about 2.2% per year. Scholars like Paul Ehrlich, author of The Population Bomb, a book published back in 1968, argued that if we continue to see the global population rise, the world as we know it would cease to exist, with mass hunger, crippling poverty, energy deficits and the likes, leading to catastrophe for the human race. It's also during these decades that we saw many countries across the globe indulge in coercive and aggressive population control, most famously, the one-child policy in China. And yet, since the 1960s, the planet's population has more than doubled. Technological advancements and human development have eased a lot of these fears. We've eradicated global hunger, with famine now only afflicting very few, or the most war-ravaged parts of the world. Similarly, global energy supplies have managed to keep up with the growing needs of the growing global population. 90% of the global population existed in extreme poverty 200 years ago. Today, that number is down to only 10%. While we do see world population continuing to increase, the rate of growth has actually been on a downward trend. In fact, according to the estimates by the UN, the growth in the world population will continue to slow down until it hits a peak and then stabilizes or actually begins to decrease. The UN projections show the world population peaking at 10.4 billion in 2086. And so, things aren't as bad as they might seem, but that doesn't mean we're out of trouble just yet. The population bomb has been defused, but we still have more challenges to tackle. A lot of the development and technological advancements that have enabled us to host 8 billion people on the planet are also threatening its very future, with the environment and global inequality taking the lead as threats to humanity. Also, some countries are already facing declining populations, and the challenges they're facing increase pressures on the workforce, insufficient caregivers for the elderly, a drop in innovation and economic growth, and the need to import human resources through immigration. Are problems the rest of the world will also need to adapt to once their population growth comes to a halt?